Hi there, this is Ranjit and welcome to Geeky Ranjit Explains and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about Wi-Fi routers, the different kind of Wi-Fi routers and general about Wi-Fi. Actually if you notice we do get Wi-Fi routers in variety of formats. For example if you see this one has three antennas, the one I have this one has just two antennas and this has just a single antenna we, and we also get some models that do not have any antenna for example you said this uh, wi-fi router that does not have any antennas and also these routers uh, have different speeds i'm going to talk about that i'm going to talk about other things also like wi-fi encryption and things that you can do to secure your uh, network connection again this session might go into multiple videos like part one or part two so again stay tuned for that so let's get on with this uh, wi-fi routers uh, if you have ever used a smartphone or a tablet you might have used a Wi-Fi router that provides internet connection to your a wireless device. Wi-Fi is nothing but it creates a wireless uh, local area network for you and uh, that's usually uh, done by having a router for example a router like this. Some have antennas, external antennas, some do not have antennas. Actually every Wi-Fi router has an antenna but some have external like I showed earlier and these actually transmit radio waves and thus you get your internet connection and again this Wi-Fi router is attached to your internet connection and now many people uh, are confused about these A, B, G, N or whatever uh, you do get uh, Wi-Fi routers the most earliest one were A and uh, B but uh, these days you don't get it but again the A uh, had uh, theoretical uh, speed of 54 Mbps and the B standard had 11 Mbps. The problem with A was that the range was not that great. So it quickly actually faded and uh, after this B actually the G standard was evolved and these days the N is actually pretty common. G had a maximum speed of 54 megabits per second and the n had max speed and and when the n was introduced it had speeds of 150 mbps now the we have n in actually multiple formats for example uh, as i told you every wi-fi router has an antenna uh, with the n based we actually can have multiple antennas and n actually supports up to max of four antennas so maximum theoretical speed that we can get with the N standard is 600 megabits per second. But the most common is N150 that's marketed like that's 150 megabits and the N300. These are the most common ones that we find these days. And these are actually pretty affordable. Uh, we do also have the N450 and uh, N600. But again, a little bit rare also. And again, the thing is that your other device, for example, your router might support these speeds like these high speeds like that. But your device that is using like the cell phone, etc. also need to support these uh, high speeds. And that's not very common. So 150 and 300 are pretty common. And now you might ask, uh, what are these wireless signals? These are actually radio waves and we have it in actually two frequencies. One is the 2.4 gigahertz. This is the most common actually if your uh, router does not specify for example the most common ones that we find these days the N150 or the N300 they are actually most of them will be running on the 2.4 gigahertz and uh, now we have also seen some routers that are dual band and uh, dual band routers these are a little bit expensive what they do is they do support this 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz band. Now you might ask me why do we have these two bands? The problem is that the 2.4 gigahertz band is actually very crowded uh, space uh, and a lot of devices example cordless phones, microwaves etc uh, actually interfere with that. And the main problem with 2.4 gigahertz particularly if you are li living in a very crowded area or uh, for example uh, let's say if you are living in a building is that uh, you might have a lot of wireless uh, router for example this is your building you might have two of so many Wi-Fi routers in this building well, every household these days uh, has a Wi-Fi router if they have a computer and the problem is that as these are radio uh, waves they actually clash with each other thus the range that you might get is a bit limited 
with 2.4 gigahertz if you are in a very crowded area. But if you don't have any Wi-Fi interference or congestion, actually the Wi-Fi range offered by 2.4 gigahertz is higher than the 5 gigahertz band. The main advantage of 5 gigahertz band is that as of now it's not that crowded. And the biggest advantage is the speed that you can get with the 5 gigahertz band is a lot more than the 2.4 gigahertz band. For normal casual web browsing etc and gaming that won't matter. But if you do a lot of wireless streaming of HD media, then the 5 gigahertz band makes a lot of sense. And if a router is set to have dual band, that means it supports both the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz band. So that's a dual band router and uh, actually I was talking about the N standard as we have seen we have the A, B, G, N and now the latest one is AC. Uh, actually we are seeing some devices with the AC standard as I said and it's 150 megabits per second but uh, we have seen some device that go at max of about 600 mbps uh, per second but mostly max i've seen is 450 megabits per second with the ac we are seeing some device that can go up to 1.7 gigabits uh, per second so that's really fast and we are also seeing some devices by 1.3 gigahertz as of now the ac standard all the standards are not finalized hence we are seeing fluctuations and it's said that when the ac standard is fully uh what do you say uh certified we might get even higher speed than this 1.7 gigahertz. But again, the problem with the AC uh, standard is that it's on the 5 gigahertz band, not on the 2.4 gigahertz. So effectively, the Wi-Fi range that we get with the AC uh, routers is a bit low. So what uh, do I suggest? If you are just a casual user, just have about four, three, four devices in your house, um, I would say and uh, your uh, internet connection is not very fast like say 20 megabit 50 megabits or something a 2.4 gigahertz based uh, Wi-Fi router should be good enough for you. Also I would suggest not to if your budget permits not to go for the basic N150 based one but go with the at least the N300 based one because this N300 ones have two antennas. If the antenna is also not visible, it is there internally. It has two antennas. Hence, the Wi-Fi range offered is a little bit more compared to the N150 routers. So, I hope you have an understanding between the different type of Wi-Fi routers. What is this uh, A, B, G, N and the upcoming AC standard. The most common today if you're going to buy is N. Uh, Again, don't worry if you even buy the N-based router, they are backward compatible with VNG. And why is this? Because some of the older devices only work on the G or the B band. B, we are not seeing a lot of devices these days. But yes, some of the old devices like example, the Nintendo game consoles, etc. are still using the G standard. But any of the devices that you have purchased recently uh, will support this N standard. Also, if you buy an AC based router, they are backward compatible with N based routers. So in the next part of this video, I'll be talking about some other advanced uh, things that you need to do with your Wi-Fi routers. For example, as you uh, have seen, this is just a radio wave. So anybody can tap into this and use your internet connection. And to prevent that, you have to secure your Wi-Fi network that you create. I'm going to talk about actually there are different uh, standards by which you can secure it and I'm going to talk about that also uh, we have multiple channels available on the router on this 2.4 gigahertz frequency and the 5 gigahertz frequency and if you're having some network issues or you're not getting the range you might be able to get that by changing the channels on them and again, I'll also talk about uh, best practices, how to get the best Wi-Fi signal. Also, if you go in the market, uh, you do get these Wi-Fi routers uh, from as low as rupees thousand. That's approximately just twenty dollars to all the way to about fifteen thousand or so. So as you can see, there's a huge price variation between them. So the basic Wi-Fi routers generally these days are the N150 ones and uh, 
if you move uh, further and further you get uh, actually advanced functionality like uh, for example as i s told the speeds will obviously increase for example n uh, 450 n 600 also uh, uh, the basic ones just support the 2.4 gigahertz band as you move up the chain you will also get the 5 gigahertz support and also uh, the basic uh, ones have 100 mbps uh, lan ports but the higher end ones support a gigabit uh, ports that's 1000 megabits per second so if you move higher and higher the feature sets also increase and then some of the routers uh, for example advanced ones they do even have a usb uh, port at the back which you can connect uh, for example your pen drives hard drives to create local storage on your network and let me show you one of the routers now uh, this is a n750 dual band router as you can see it says it's a dual band uh, gigabit router it's a fairly high-end router and uh, with some of the routers you do get a usb port like this uh, and using which you can connect uh, portable hard drives to that so that you can have some kind of a network storage by just plugging in the hard drive here obviously your internet connection goes and uh, most of the routers will have uh, at least four ethernet ports some have more and you can connect your computers via this this has gigabit ports that's much faster and uh, we also have WPS button in most of the new NBase routers. So you can just hit this button and hit the WPS button on your device and they will make a secure connection automatically. So again, I'll be talking about all these things in my next session. Uh, I'll try to uh, make the next session soon. But again, I do post new videos every uh, Thursday on this channel that is Geeky Ranjit Explained. So stay tuned to that. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the same. I hope you found this video helpful. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.